Hi, my name is Chris Addig from the Veterans Law Blog at VeteransLawBlog.org. I'm an accredited VA attorney and an Army veteran, and since 2007, I've been leading veterans through the fog of VA claims and appeals on the VeteransLawBlog.org. Over the last decade, I've had a chance to read a lot of VA claims and appeals. I've studied thousands, maybe even close to tens of thousands of C-files, and I've seen all sorts of ways that veterans try to argue their claim to the VA. Most of them don't work or they're just not effective. Some are really effective though and could get the VA to want to grant your claim or appeal. Here's a couple of the more common argument styles and why they do or don't work. The first argument style, I call it the appeal to outrage, and I see this argument style more than any other, and rightly so. Veterans are outraged that their claims and appeals take so long, that their representatives are often poorly trained or working too hard on too many claims and appeals. So they try to appeal to that raider or the judge's sense of outrage. They say, I serve my nation and I deserve these benefits. Or, I've been waiting 10 years for benefits and it's time to get this done and stop making stupid mistakes now. There's many variations on this argument style, but the style, simply put, is not effective, and I'll tell you why. VA raiders and BVA judges see it hundreds of times a day. They're numb to the delays. Most of them are doing the best they can with the tools of the bureaucrats in D.C. and Congress have given to them. So when they read this in a letter or a pleading written by a veteran, or unfortunately sometimes their representatives, they think, what makes this case any different? I'm doing the best that I can. And they move on, sometimes to another case. The second argument style usually involves threatening some sort of outside involvement. This sort of argument usually goes something like this. If you don't handle this claim or appeal right now and get it right, then I'm gonna write my congressman or I'm gonna sue the VA. This assumes that the folks that are coming in to look at it are really going to be concerned about the problems that the veteran brings to them. And we know that's not the case. We know that Congress is largely useless these days. I compare them to nipples on a man. We'd look weird without them, but don't really know what purpose they serve. And other than the Veterans Court, which has a very, very limited jurisdiction and scope of review, the veteran doesn't really have a right to sue the VA anywhere. So the argument is powerless and toothless, and the VA knows it. They often ignore it. The third style of argument that I see is a style that has actually been quite effective, remarkably effective in a lot of cases, and it starts with a really basic idea. It starts with the idea that claims with clear writing and persuasive arguments based on fact and law get decisions much faster. Veterans that can sit down and outline their writing, know what they need to prove, and provide clear and concise written arguments to the VA often get faster and better results from the VA. Think about it. If you're a VA raider and you're looking at hundreds of files a day, which is going to be the one that you want to work on any given day? The one where a veteran is ranting about all the problems in the VA that you have no power to fix? Or the one where the veteran makes his or her case in a clean, crisp, and easy to read style? I know which one I'd choose. So I took a few hundred cases where veterans won their claims quicker and I found that almost all of them followed five simple steps to make their written arguments more persuasive. In fact, I've created a video training program to teach you this five-step method to persuasive VA claims writing. It's so effective that it's the exact method that I use to prepare for all my own cases and the exact method I teach to all of my new attorneys at my law firm. The Get to the Point writing program will show you how to develop an easy way to outline your writing so that you never feel paralyzed. It's going to give you specific examples so that you know exactly what a good persuasive argument looks like. I'm going to share my secret trick that I use to address each point so that my writing is always clear and concise. And I'm going to show you how to make your VA claim persuasive and the facts that you should consider including to support your argument. Finally, I'm going to give you seven tips for editing your writing that are going to knock out and fix 80% of the problems in your VA claims arguments. And I'll include a bonus checklist of those seven tips so you know what to look for when you're doing your final editing. Use the link that's coming up on your video screen now to visit the Veterans Law Blog Bookstore and pick up your copy of the Get to the Point video training program today. Don't forget to stop by the Veterans Law Blog at VeteransLawBlog.org where I've created and shared thousands of posts, over a dozen downloadable VA field manuals, and hours of training videos to help veterans cut through the fog of VA claims and appeals. We'll see you on the Veterans Law Blog, and until then, take care. Have a great day.